This is a group of students from New Mexico State University in Agricultural and Extension Education. And in the states, our students train to work with uh, farmers and other individuals who are interested in and about agriculture. So we're educators. And so what we're doing on this tour is visiting different places that uh, might work with others about learning about agriculture and teaching others about agricultural and extension types of activities. So we've had an opportunity um, to go to a, a workshop related to disaster prevention. Disasters, if, you, if you've been hearing the news, uh, it's a part and it will be a part of the future that we share on this planet. Japan having a, a 9.0 earthquake which triggered off a tsunami. The effect, the impact it has had on the nuclear infrastructure in Japan, which may very well have an impact on us all. And with the fallout, radioactivity will impact everybody. Already, Taiwan has detected high radiation levels in beans. Uh, imported from Japan and in Japan in the area we've already had contamination of milk in the area from uh, radioactive material. touring uh, central farms and talking to the students and learning about the crops and research that they're doing. Jose. Finger can fit between these two bones, they are good here. Yeah. How old is it? Now, this one was born uh, last Saturday, so it's a baby. going to the village of San Antonio to learn about some of the Mayan farming uh, techniques. So what is this? That's the pot for the pot, yes? Tamales, boils, tamalitos, that takes long, then we bring it over here. And we are um, saving a lot of firewood. <laughs> and the pigs don't smell at all. This morning we went to go see the pigs at the farm we were at, and it smelled awful. <laughs> <laughs> and doesn't it? I mean. But what happened is because we are having this, you know, um, global warming and all that, so this year a lot of our farmers lost their seeds because they planted early, because we believe that. We are going to have early rain and it never rained. Oh. So the ones that planted later, those are the ones who are having good crops. So now we have to be like kind of oh. doing three type of planting. 
early planting, medium planting, and then the last, the late planting. This, 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 this one that the black beans. We have this. Use you. We am um, planted this. This this stick we use it for plant um, beans and corn. Hmm? If we plant this, like this flower, this thing, the smell doesn't make the the germs come to the tomato tree. What you are going to see today is our function as trainers in the proper management of pesticides. Pesticide use is what is required, then there are precautions that need to be taken for the protection of human health and the environment. Ya que la mosca blanca ya cuesta un poco el control, resistente a las químicas, eso es la resistencia. That is resistance. Why? One of the main reasons is because farmers tend to use the same product over and over and over again and the pests get used to it. Afterwards we'll comment and see what, what if, he, if he is doing this. This is chaya boyos, also made out of the corn and the chaya. Mm -hmm. And this is a tomato sauce, a little hot for you guys to eat with the boyos. And we have the chaya with eggs, that's very good too, corn tortillas and water potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then we have some chaya juice, some cornstarch and some lemongrass iced tea. We're going to be going to the Belize uh, High School of Agriculture where we will meet with the students to actually teach some lessons and have them teach us some stuff about Belizean agriculture. Yes, the big cities, the huge cities, are now starting to do what you guys do every day. You guys could probably go teach them a thing or two. I school people your age, you can ask, where does your food come from? Like, where are tomatoes grown? How are tomatoes grown? Or how are foods that they commonly eat grown? And they won't be able to tell you. They won't be able they're like, I got it at the supermarket. They're all dead. Which one of them had? Four different groups. And she's in the third plot and we are in the third plot. And this is how heart plot appeared at the beginning of the year, with grass. You can see it's a photograph. She have her schedule of activities, selection of varieties, selection of tools and equipment, selection of area and soil type, selection of cropping system. Then you have operational activities, preparation of nourishing seed bed, land cleaning, tillage and preparation. Replanting treatment, planting and transplanting, fertilizer, and so on. We really want to thank you for the opportunity of allowing us to visit your school and spending time with you today. And we want to give you a New Mexico State hat from our College of Agriculture. And we hope that we can begin a relationship that will last a long time. Thank you. Some fun and 
gonna do some cultural things. We went to Sinansovic yesterday and we're gonna go to Lamini and we're gonna get a chance to see some Mayan dancers. And so it's just been a, a great cultural experience as well as uh, an opportunity to learn about Belizean agriculture.